All right, my lovely e-bikers and soon-to-be e-bikers, welcome back to the channel. I got my dude shirt on today, the dude abides. And you know the dude would be riding an e-bike if that movie was made today. So I just got back from my morning ride over to Starbucks, grab a little bit of coffee. And I was looking through the comments. In my last video, I talked about my e-bike being a year old now. It has almost 700 miles on it. And I was showing how well the bike had held up, you know, what the tires still look like, you know, how everything after even having a couple of accidents, the bike is still running great. But I noticed in the comments, somebody was asking about the battery life. And that was something I didn't really get into too much. But that does seem like obviously the main thing people are interested in. So today we're going to talk about how an e-bike battery holds up after a year of use. And I got mine right here for us to take a look at. So don't go nowhere, guys. We are delving into the question of battery life on your e-bike today on Green Motion. Woohoohoo! So right now I got my battery still hooked on to the little rack that it comes with one way or the other here. We should be able to slide that off. Woo, there we go. So all right guys, this is the original battery of my bike. I have over 700 miles on it. I've been using it for about a year. So usually the first thing people are interested in is how far you're going to be able to go on the battery power. When I first got my e-bike, I was able to do 22 miles on this thing. That was just about the extent of my range. Now that is in full electric. If you are pedaling more, you can extend that. I always tell people the more you're working, the less the battery is working. But with a full electric charge, I could get about 22 miles on this thing. The last time I took this thing out for a ride to Monitor and back, which is a town near here, it is just about 20 miles. The battery was just at its last dot and starting to blink at about 20 miles. So I have noticed a couple of miles drop off maybe in the extended life of the battery, which isn't bad after a year of use. I mean, we're talking about 22 miles to 20 miles, basically maybe a 10% reduction in the overall extended range of the battery. But probably almost as important as that is the performance of the battery itself. And I think that's where you will probably notice a little bit more of a diminishment on the battery is in its zippiness. This battery right now gets me up to 20 miles an hour, no problem. It will still take the hills, it will do everything it could do before, but it may not get up to that 20 miles per hour as quick as it was when I first got it, you know, and it was brand new out of the box. And I may work a little bit more now when I'm going up big hills and things like that. The battery doesn't quite have you know, the surge power that it used to to get me up there. But honestly, that works out just perfectly because my batteries, you know, right here in the thighs have actually gotten stronger as I've been e-biking. So it's almost like as that battery performance sort of slips down a little bit, your performance is actually increasing and can make up the difference just fine. So I really have not even noticed it. I don't think it is something you would notice if you just had the one e-bike. If it wasn't for the fact that I'm always test riding brand new e-bikes down at the shop, I do see a difference, you know, in how quick those brand new batteries will get you up to speed versus mine, which, you know, I wouldn't call it sluggish. I would just say it's not quite as zippy as it was originally but like I said for me that works out just fine because I'm capable of doing more of the work now so as the battery's wearing down I'm strengthening up and we're still perfect symbiosis of man and machine but if you know you either wanted to get an extended ride you'd rather go 40 some miles rather than 20 miles of course you can always buy a second battery i would in no way say it would be necessary for me to buy another battery just for performance now i think i've got at least another year out of this thing but to extend my ride to be able to go on 40 mile rides that is something i would think about getting a second battery so then the next question is how much do these suckers going to cost you man so on a thousand dollar e-bike this battery was about 350 dollars to replace so that is a big chunk of what you're spending on the bike which is why it is important to get a bike from a good reputable company that isn't going to be selling you second rate batteries these are full of 18650s in here and you want to make sure you got good quality ones from a good company but i would say overall i have been very impressed with the performance of not just the e-bike but of the battery as well man these things have no problems of course there's no moving parts 
parts or anything like a traditional you know motorcycle engine or something so very few things to go wrong i've had like zero problems with my bike since i got it but you know a 350 dollars investment every couple years i do not think is like too extravagant for what you're getting from your e-bike which is fun excitement exercise freedom you know everything that an e-bike is bringing to your life so, and i have not had anybody come in with any complaints or any issues with the batteries or the rear hub motors i always tell people the nice thing about an e-bike is other than that rear hub motor and the battery it's just a bike almost everything else is compatible you can just replace it with regular bike parts the tires the inner tubes the handlebars you know cranks pedals all of that kind of stuff and on a side note I've actually found this thing to be very reliable in all types of weather. It is water resistant. I've had it out in the rain with no problem whatsoever. Rain, snow, sleet, spray coming up. Nothing has given this thing any issues. I actually dumped it down in the river one time when I was riding along the shoreline. The rocks got kind of slick from the algae and whatnot and it went out from under me, put it down. I was like, oh my God, picked it up quick. Boom, boom, is ready to go, man. And then if you guys are curious where you can get an incredible, awesome e-bike for yourself, we have them available not only at the store here in town. If you happen to live up here in the Northwest, you can check out Green Motion e-bikes in Wenatchee. Otherwise, go to the website. We got greenmotionebikes.com. You can check out all of the bikes we have right there. And we got the specs and all the information you guys would want to check out over there as well. So I would just say to anybody who is contemplating getting an e-bike that the battery life is not something that you should really make any kind of a concern. I've had great results with my e-bike and the battery over the past year. We'll see how she holds up over another year and I'll give you guys another update on that. So if you haven't done so already, I would really appreciate you guys if you would subscribe to this channel. Every subscriber is really valued and appreciated over here. And on top of that, if you could ring that little bell, ring a ding ding, just like your bike bell, that will get you the notification when the new videos come up. And we are gonna have a bunch of brand new e-bikes we're gonna be taking a look at. I have a model that we brought in from Europe to mix it up a little bit from the Chinese models we've been looking at. So you don't want to miss that, so make sure you got your bell rung. What? That's what she said. But all right, guys, other than that, it is actually a little bit of a cooler day today. We got some overcast clouds. We're at about mid-70s perfect day for a bike ride so i think i'm gonna take my bike head down to the store and i suggest all of you guys do the same so if you have not done so already go check out some e-bikes on the website and i'll meet you guys right back here for a brand new video next time have a great e-biking day see you guys then peace and like they say never throw your batteries around man